The British royal family faces difficult times, especially for Catherine Middleton. Yesterday she was spotted with her mother, Charlotte Middleton, in the vicinity of Windsor, sitting on a passenger seat of a black Audi, wearing sunglasses and with a face that significantly differs from what we are used to. This sparked most of the comments about whether this is not Catherine Middleton, but rather more like Pippa Middleton. There were comments about whether she has cancer, must have had chemotherapy, and even theories that Catherine Middleton wore a wig or that her face was completely deformed due to an attack. Of course, in social media there are no places for theories, but I would rather lean towards a more restrained opinion and above all, towards calming down regarding her health condition. I think it is obvious that Middleton does not look like herself. This is definitely evident from the images where you can see that there is a mole on her face that is not there. It is true that her face looks completely deformed, she does not look like herself, but then her hair is quite remarkable in its way of styling. At first roots look like another person. Actually, pay attention to this picture where Catherine Middleton's smile is shown, which is completely different from this picture that came to us yesterday and which was blurred by someone on Twitter who decided to look at Catherine as Prince William's wife in a difficult moment of her life. There is no date for her return yet, but there is an image that amazes everyone. The image of her on a passenger seat of a car that drives Charlotte Middleton, her mother, and what attracts attention in all this is that fans of the British monarchy always said that repeated appearance of Catherine would be under the wing of her husband William on some event or in some kind of surroundings Windsor, but always in his company to stop all theories about there being a marital rift or that Catherine Middleton decided to leave Windsor and file for divorce William after all what was seen as for example constant accusations of infidelity Harry which have become more significant in recent months since William was almost invisible turned to personal issues his absence on official events where he was expected to arrive and the most amazing thing. This happens around the King Charles and William. We see how Camilla Parker Bowles does not worry about the fact that her husband just had cancer, it's absolutely indifferent to her, she went on vacation they say their children Tom Parker know about William's infidelity and that in the end Camilla became an accomplice as these rumors about romance with Ross Hunt continue. I think she could be quite accepted against the backdrop of everything we see since the absence of Kate Middleton coincides with the moment when Carlos, King Charles, is confirmed to have cancer, pancreatic cancer, according to several media outlets, and against this backdrop William refuses to do his duties and professional obligations, always referring to personal issues, the details of which have not become known. The hospitalization of his wife lasted more than two weeks, of which, at least publicly, there was only one visit by William, and what causes this situation is absolute chaos in the British royal house, most of its members apparently on sick leave, either because of illness or because they decided to leave, as Harry did. Kate Middleton's uncle viciously attacked Harry, which I honestly don't understand, they try to restrain all the scandals a little. And now suddenly Kate Middleton's uncle, Carol's brother, says that his niece is beautiful, that she is the perfect woman, beautiful on the outside, but even more beautiful inside and a caring mother. And about the conflicts of Kate with her brother-in-law and his wife, that is, with Harry and Meghan, he has no doubt to his right. He says, I was angry with Harry and Meghan, he threw the royal family under the bus. Well, considering what was told in Spera, in the memoir book, I'm not surprised what happens next. Then it says, this is complete nonsense, and I didn't hide my feelings very well when I was asked to say something. Kate is not a racist. This was stated with full confidence on the same day when his niece or her double reappeared in public and did it apparently, realizing that they were being filmed. You can see how Carol Middleton looks ahead with quite large bruises under her eyes, very pronounced bruises on her face, a face of absolute fatigue, which looks at the tone, if it is her, which I seriously doubt, but if so, then with a significant swelling on her face and hairline, which in fact, causes, at least concern, we do not know, did she lose her hair and put them, we do not know, but the truth is that the transparent image, which subsequently leaked through the media and social networks very disturbing. I see that she is very different from what we are used to. I don't know if it's related to the drugs, to the fact that the royal house is very irritated and they had to go out so that she was noticed and restrained all the scandals and rumors a little. But what is true is that, well, her uncle Gary Goldsmith brought us a lot of benefits for the family. Currently, they say that Carol and Michael, Kate's parents, are completely against this public performance of Gary Goldsmith, 
they think it's useless, they don't understand why he did that. Then it comes to the point that in social networks they say that everyone in British society, including the son of Camilla Parker Bowles, Tom Parker Bowles, knew that William led a double life, that he had extramarital relations with Rose Hamburg, a neighbor who lives near his house, where he lives with Kate. And this is no longer a secret for everyone true, on the part of Kate Middleton, they do not know will it explode at some point, but in the circles of high society of Britain, it is known and recognized that this is not a lie, not a deception, they knew about it. Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if the topic of Kate Middleton's recovery, the fact that she says nothing, absolutely nothing, about the reason why she was hospitalized, could most likely be related to a nervous breakdown caused by these changes that have become public and known in recent months. I don't know what you think, but most of the blame is placed on Camilla Parker Bowles, considering her a real witch who somehow tried to gradually destroy Kate and William's marriage. And just as she did with Diana of Wales and Charles, in this case, I think that Camilla and any family she enters will be a real cancer. This woman, cancer, is no longer just a disease that Carlos of England has. I think that Camilla's behavior leaves much to be desired, and it can be confirmed that this is a woman who more than once everything she did was aimed at complicating and overshadowing William and Kate's engagement when they were not yet married, and then they say that Camilla and Kate never got along, and that their relationships were irreparable at the family level. I'm not surprised, really. She realizes what's going on there, among all these problems. She says she's very tired because she attended 13 official events and needs to rest. Then, she took a vacation, leaving Princess Anne, whom I consider now the most hardworking in the entire British Kingdom. She is the only one who appears somewhere, and Carlos of England himself says that he will return to the event in Australia, which seems to be the height of cynicism, that is, you just announce that you suffer from cancer and continue your professional routine, it's a bit strange, but of course, in the light of the absence of clan members. The British Royal House for work they had to resort to sick people and even to elderly people. We see how Princess Anne stepped over 70 years and continues to work, being a real, well, a real example of a woman. By the way, I don't understand why Camilla is so tired from attending 13 official events when Queen Elizabeth II, despite her age and all her ailments, has always been a real, well, a real pillar of the family, and that's why people loved her so much, because she never missed an official event, she attended everything and was a worthy woman for this institution and for this title of queen, which, I think, Camilla doesn't even come close. Camilla significantly falls short of the royal status. So these are the latest news. I hope that Kate Middleton will recover soon, but the latest information is not encouraging at all. I already said that there is significant inflammation on the face after this image, which by the way, I did not bring yesterday because it appeared later. And Carol Middleton looks quite, I would say, worried, sitting behind the wheel of a car next to her daughter. No trace of William with Kate, which only intensifies rumors of a breakup between the couple, which it seems happened recently. So as always, subscribe and see you in the next videos.